There's three things in this world that all oppressive rulers fear the most. The first being the truth. And secondly, is for somebody to blatantly unmask their true and moral ways of control. And last but not the least, is for an individual that not only knows the rules or regulations, but that they indicatively know the rules and regulations better than the ruler themselves. Yes, sir. How you doing tonight? Pretty good. Go ahead and roll your window down for me. Uh, this is fine, sir. Do what? This is fine. That's fine? Yes, sir. Why is that fine? Because I can hear you. How old are you? Uh, is that a required question to answer? Uh, yes, sir, it is. I'm 21. Stay right there for me. Yes, sir. For years and years, we have all been subjected to certain types of conditioning, and we've all been desensitized to our own chains of slavery. Through federal and state government extortion schemes like taxes, we are all forced to pay for things like roads and police. You would think considering since we the people funded these roads that we could travel about freely but apparently that's way too much to ask from government as if we should really have to ask government for anything at all but like in this video they use public funded roadways along with public funded police as grounds to run dui checkpoints which only truly violate more rights and more officers oaths all while pressing the American people even further well, they just pull right over the side right there right there am I being detained pull over to the side right there am I being detained or pull am I over to, go? to the side right there okay step on out it step might out. so I'm being detained either pull over the other side or you can step out right here which do you want you know what we're all pretty lucky this video was recorded by a 21 year old young man who approached a state police issued revenue generating dui checkpoint right off the bat this group of armed tyrants begin using intimidation tactics to try and force and manipulate this man into giving up his constitutional rights. Pull right over to the other side and stop the vehicle. Yes, sir. Put it in park, shut it down. Unlock the door. Sir, am I being detained? Unlock your door. Would you like me to take off my seatbelt? Yeah. Come on out with your hands first. Talk to this gentleman here. Step on back here.
Not only are these tyrants demanding unconstitutional obedience, they're also planning on using a canine drug sniffing dog to try and swindle this driver out of what little bit of rights he has left. But just like in every wrong deed done, Lady Karma will eventually have her chance to make the immoral her next victim. This canine unit is only a tool used by tyrants to legally undermine and to pry their way into your property and into your privacy. According to a nationwide analysis, canine drug sipping dogs are only correct 50% of the time. And yet they still let things like this go on considering that they done the very own testing and they know the results. In which only puts your liberties and your freedoms in the balance and only offers a chance of a coin toss to define if you lose or if you get to keep your rights. And that is if the cop is honest. In which we all know most cops are not honest. This is a police and doctor and drug dog training facility. Now watch when the dog alerts on its own ability, not under any commands, or being coerced by its cop. The alert is cut and dry and made very obvious when a real alert has taken place. Now, you notice I said taking place, but not for anything. Meaning this could be for drugs. This could be for the smell of another dog. I mean, they are just dogs. So therefore, this whole thing is a racket and it's used against you and your civil liberties. But he's, he's perfectly innocent and he knows his rights. He knows what the Constitution says. You got air fresheners under the seat. Wasn't a very good alert. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's running. This here, guys, is exactly why you always record the cops. No matter what situation you're in, if you can, then do yourself a favor and press record. You know, an old saying goes, give the criminals enough rope and they will eventually hang themselves. So guys, do not let cops intimidate you or lie to you. And be for sure and don't let them steal any more of your property any more of your freedoms or any more of your rights.
And even though this country belongs to the people, always remember that police are working for themselves and not for you. If you guys really enjoyed this video, make sure and leave it a thumbs up, share it on all your social media, and in the comments below, I wanna see your guys' reaction about how this boy pulled off filming these police without them knowing. Other than that, guys, I love y'all like family, and I will see you all in the next video.